ATs has some of the most high concept storytelling in all of K-pop. From a superhero high school rivalry to a dystopian epic where emotions are outlawed and music is the only way to fight back, they are pushing the boundaries with how much story they can fit into a three to five minute music video. But are they biting off more than they can chew? Let's break down the editing and storytelling of AT's Halazia from a pro music video editor perspective. It looks like this is actually taking place in the exact same universe as Gorilla. If you missed my reaction to Gorilla, definitely go check it out. But the basic story is it's in a dystopian world where people are brainwashed by sound so that they don't have emotions anymore. And ATs was this rebel splinter group that were fighting back with their music to try to get rid of the evil regime. But it seems like they didn't work. Everybody lost emotion and now gravity has been turned off. It's not good. By the way, this is not the music video, this is the prologue, and we're gonna also break down the prologue and the epilogue in addition to Halazia, the music video, so we can get the full context of the world building and storytelling that's really going into this incredible music video. But let me tell you, ATs has some of the best freaking storytelling out there. Their biggest weakness, though, is VFX. I'm gonna be honest. Like, the way that the smoke looks, it just, it's like too sharp. It doesn't blend in with the actual real clouds very well. I think it could be better, and that's just me being picky, but I'm in it for the story, bro. Remember back to my gorilla reaction? I think in general, the sound is a little bit too minimalistic. The visuals were amazing, but the sound was lacking. Not the case here. I really was like, hey guys, I think we could really step this up if we made it more like an American trailer. Trailers just suck you in with the way that they just make everything seem epic and the sound and it's just like, it's amazing. And I think they really took that advice to heart because just look at this. We got like an, a trailer riser right here. The sound is just so, so much more visceral. And then right after this little stop down here, and a stop down is where everything gets cut out to focus on a line of dialogue or something. And so this is a very, very important shot because right after a stop down, the shot that's after it, is something that you really need to focus on. So the reason that we show this scarecrow is it's representing the old rebel group that ATs used to be. So it was called Halates. But putting the scarecrow up is a demonstration that Strickland is not messing around, okay? If you mess with Strickland, this is what's gonna happen to you. But ATs as the new group, they come in and they're like, look, we don't freaking care. It doesn't matter. We're not afraid of this evil regime. We'll stand in front of it. And this is where the rebellion is gonna start. Ooh. There's a bird, and that's gonna come back later. It's in a very, very important detail. Dude, like, they did so much better on the sound this time. This soundtrack is just gorgeous. And so without further ado, let's get to the music video. Ooh. So this is a very important opening shot. They chose to open on speakers because of the history of this entire world. And so you can see here that they didn't win. People really don't have emotions right now. Everybody's brainwashed. That's why we see these speakers all over the place throughout the city and throughout the town is because that is the battle that they fought and lost. So let's see how they're gonna beat them this time. I like the rocks as a little detail to remind us. There's no gravity, by the way. It's, it's been turned off. Wow. 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 That was a seemingly simple rotating transition with a match cut to a hand, which was nice. It was great. We love to see it as editors and filmmakers. But the thing that made that great was that it had a deeper meaning. Remember, gravity has been turned off. And so what would it be like if you literally turned the world inside out? And so things didn't fall down. Instead, they fell up. That's essentially what that transition is saying. It's saying, what if we literally spun the camera upside down and showed you a shot of rocks falling up. 
it's a perfect way to utilize filmmaking to start telling the story in a more visceral way. Oh, it's so good! Dude, he's in like an hourglass. Maybe I miss, miss saw that, but... The reality is 75% of people watching this video right now are not subscribed. If you're with me on the mission of highlighting the editing and the storytelling behind some of our favorite music videos, I would love for you to join our community for free and subscribe. Oh! Bro, do you hear that? That's the bell. That is the bell. Back in the prologue, they said, amidst this desolated hope, the great sound of a bell resonated through the air. So it sounds like they actually took that little inspiration of a bell resonating through the air from the actual song. That is the sign of this eight member rebellion, which is maybe known as Halazia. It's like a new era for ATs. This was a really interesting musical moment because it's building up, it's getting big. And then there's a musical stop down right here with like a little flute and stuff. This like musical moment really reminded me of Pirate King by ATs where it kind of breaks down to nothing. There's a little like whisper, a little vocal thing. And then it goes into that just hard chorus with a ton of bass. But instead of doing that, they went into this instrumental with the bell. The bell, which signals to people a new age, a new rebellion. And it's the same with that shot. That shot is literally what it means. It means I am now taking place of this scarecrow. It's a new era. Now the spheres that are floating, not really sure about that. That wide shot is epic. Transition. Let's go. So we have shot one with his fist here and then we cut to shot two where they followed his fist down and then did a tilt down into the next transition. So it actually isn't two shots, it's three. Lots of times there's little tiny cuts in the middle of transitions to really just help make it smoother because sometimes it's hard to get it in two shots. But if you just match, cut, stitch a couple frames in there, it makes it so much better. <laughs> Oh my freaking gosh. Okay, that really reminded me of when the drums picked up in the prologue and they just started jump cutting all over the place just to create energy. I don't even know if he was like hardly singing the lyrics here. It was just cut so much. Like he is, but there wasn't a shot that was up long enough for me to actually read his lips and figure out if what he's saying is right. They could have just jump cut a bunch of him just like going like this together to the beat of the rap and it would have like actually worked so well. That's kind of the secret with music video editing. Sometimes they're not always saying the words and if you just make something look cool enough, the audience will not care. Just so much cutting. But it all matches the phrasing and the rhythm of his rap. <laughs> exactly the same technique. Woo. That was a nice cut because he went up like this, which made us tilt our eyes up. And then when we cut to this shot, our eyes are already in the top of the screen looking at the ball, which is the object. And then we come back down to the subject. So that was a great usage of point of interest cutting, directing our eyes towards the top of the screen. Woo. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Did you see those freaking speed ramps? 
that's the rhythm of it. That's how it feels. It seems weird that I'm just like dancing and beatboxing at the same time, but that's how you really understand the flow and the feel of a song and how you should visually represent it. That's why dancers make such good video editors. So if you're a dancer out there, you should try video editing. I love speed ramping dancing. And they did it again right there. Oh my gosh. His face, he was like so intense. Oh, so they lit that thing on fire. The way that it fell right on the beat and the sparks flew up matched the music so well. Great job, director. And even the detail of the sparks flying up fast and then speed ramping to slow feels so nice. Watch the sparks. It's like, boom. It just really emulates how sparks kind of move, actually, in real life. So it looks like now there's a movement. They're trying to fight back against whatever it is. They're trying to bring gravity down. They're trying to get their feelings back. I'm getting really wrapped up into the story here. It's good. I want to feel. Oh my gosh. This is the turning point in the story right here. This lyric says, I want to feel. I want to feel. The emotions have been turned off for so long. I hate it. I want to feel. And that is the turning point when they start bringing this ball down. There's something fishy going on and we're going to discover it at the end. This is the moment where the people are fighting back. I want to feel. Be the light. Halazia. And so they do a freaking dance break in rebellion from... <laughs> Like imagine you're in charge of an evil regime and then you just like look in the town square and there are these people just literally having a confetti party dance break because they're angry at you. Now that would be a sight. <laughs> Honestly, it's terrifying though. I would be scared if someone was dancing like that at me. Oh, okay, we ended on the bell, which kind of sounds like it's victory for the Halazia folks. What does it mean? We're gonna have to watch the epilogue to find out. So before 80s, they were wearing lots of like black with a little bit of white on it. That was kind of their outfits. And now it looks like they're in white with a little bit of black. And there's that bird again that we saw earlier. And they're calling attention to it by putting the scent, like a bird sound effect in there. Oh, there's the bird. Oh, when they're gone, what the f? So just like the prologue, there was that figure in white and he disappeared. And again, 
there's these figures in white. I don't know, maybe they're Halazia because the meaning of Halazia is to be the light. Being light in a dark place is what brings freedom to you and to everyone around. So guys, this is why storytelling is so important for me. I can remember if I'm gonna go out into the world, if I'm gonna go out into a dark place, I need to be the light. I need to be the person that's bringing goodness, that's bringing joy, that's bringing hope, that's bringing generosity to a dark place so that everyone around me, not only me, can experience real freedom. We have to remember to be Halazia. If you guys don't know, my online editing course, The Editing Formula, has just been re-released. So if you want to learn how to edit music videos for Blackpink, BTS, work with some of your favorite YouTubers like Mr. Beast, it'll teach you from knowing nothing to earning $100,000 a year. If you're interested in learning editing, hit the link in the description to check out The Editing Formula. Jesus loves you guys, I love you, and I'll see you next time.